Get out the ayahuasca, Grandma. Yes, uh, Aaron Rodgers, hot talk. You know it is in our contract. We cannot go more than a few days this time of the year without some kind of update involving the days of our lives drama or rama around Aaron Rodgers. So consider this our obligatory Maller monologue on the polarizing Packer quarterback. Will he topple down out of Green Bay? Inquiring minds would like to know dot, 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 dot. Now, have you heard the latest? Maybe not. We got our weekly dose of Aaron Rodgers news. Aaron Rodgers entering the chat on the trade rumors swirling around him, affirming, affirming his bromance with Nathaniel. I can't hack it in Denver. The now Jets offensive coordinator on his weekly YouTube chat with Pat McAfee. Aaron Rodgers, he's an influencer. He said he has not decided as to whether he will come back and play in a 19th season in the NFL. So he's it's still up in the air. Uh, that has, of course, not slowed down the air traffic noise around the Jets. Now, uh, we actually have a little audio just to prove I'm not making this up. So here's a little taste of Aaron Rodgers and his friendly banter with his BFF, his guy, Pat McAfee. You watch that game, you let your mind drift off to what it would be like to still be playing and all those thoughts come back to you. And then, you know, then you come up to Pebble Beach and you're like, yeah, this kind of, this, this part of life's pretty amazing, you know, doing things like this uh, more often. So, you know, look, it's, it's going to be a little bit more time uh, for my decision. And, you know, I feel confident that uh, in a couple of weeks I'll feel more strongly about one of the two decisions. All right. Now Rogers went on to say that uh, he wouldn't go out on and put his neck out and say that a, a coaching move, any one coaching move would impact his decision, but he did sing the praises of hack he said, I love hack hack is my guy. He said, that's his quote. Uh, love him. And Megan and the kids, well, he even loves the family. Uh, said uh, they are really special to me, uh, really bonded, all that when he was in Green Bay. Said that Nathaniel Hackett made it fun. It was fun, uh, he said. So I guess that was the icing on the cake. So let us discuss the question, how do you translate the latest comments from Aaron Rodgers? So I've got Cracker Jacks, Dairy Farming, and Halitosis. And we will combine all of these together, and we're going to make some cheese curds is what we're going to make. Now, uh, first of all, Aaron Rodgers is loving this. I say it every time we bring his name up. He relishes the opportunity to stoke the rumor fires. And every week he gets a chance to crank up the furnace, and he does it. Rodgers knows that everything he says, Every word is analyzed. It is used by gas bags and blowhards as sports content. And he is happy as a pig in crap to give that content out. He's in hog heaven, right? He, he sends out these cryptic comments into the ether and then watches the media rats scurrying around, uh, guilty as charged, as we parse the word. So what I do is I turn to, to the Cracker Jacks box and I use my lucky decoder ring that I got. I got a little lucky recorder decoder ring thing here I got out of Cracker Jacks years ago. They don't have these toys anymore. I'm old. Uh, but, but I can solve the puzzle. I can solve the puzzle. And so Aaron Rodgers, what he's doing here is he's flirting. Uh, he's flirting with the Jets' ownership. There was a, a message in the bottle, if you will, a secret message in the bottle and it was, hey, I'm interested. I like hack. I'm a fan of hack. Give me some hack. I like hack. Now, since he's under contract with the Packers, it can't be totally in your face. So Rodgers is following some of the social norms of polite football society, but that does not mean that he is beyond fluttering his eyelashes towards the Jets, for example. Right, just, to, just to let him know. Just a, a little, little uh, flirtation. All right, now, secondly, what happens next? 
What happens next in the Aaron Rodgers saga? Well, I could be a douche and say, well, what, happened next, what happens next is he golfs because he's in this celebrity golf tournament this weekend in, uh, in California. But we, we, we have to get past the Super Bowl. That is the next point of demarcation for Aaron Rodgers. You cross the Rubicon, the Super Bowl, it is verboten in the NFL to upstage that event. Right? You can't do it, and if you do it, you go to NFL jail. So these storylines are all carefully crafted. It is the manufactured drama of the pro football offseason. They do not want you to binge watch. No binge watching the transaction wire. You got to spread it out like peanut butter. Get it all over the bread. All over the bread. You can't get multiple transactions, big transactions at the same time. Otherwise, the axis of sports shifts to one side too much and it gets out of proportion. What fun would that be? So instead, every couple of weeks, they toss out a, a little piece of red meat into the Eskimos den, uh, and it's a, a little piece of juicy steak. And the NFL has to feed the content machine. They've got to feed content till September. Training camps don't open until July, mid-July. So as Socrates said, all things in moderation, including moderation and trade rumors. So the roster moves, it's like dairy farming. Slow and steady, you're milking a cow. Milking a cow, you got to grab the udders, and you, that's how you do it. Uh, final thought. So what are the chances that Aaron Rodgers retires? We'll revisit this question. We've asked the question before. We will gawk at Aaron Rodgers and ask the question again. So I will update the odds, the chances that Aaron Rodgers retires based on a comprehensive minutes-long thumbnail investigation are 0.0, uh, as in zero. Uh, that's how that works, and it would be the most baffling move one could make. It is not even an option. Aaron Rodgers, A, he loves the spotlight. He loves the spotlight. He loves the attention. Once you retire, you don't get the same attention. And by his standards, he was detestable in 2022. His play, his performance was not acceptable. He had halitosis, that bad, stinky breath oozing out of his mouth. He needs mouthwash. And Rodgers would be a blithering idiot, B, to walk away from the NFL, uh, and, and, well, not necessarily the NFL, but you don't walk away from a pile of pesos, a insane amount of money that he is scheduled to make here. I know he's made a lot of money, but you spend a lot of money and you don't give up money and you can continue to be the hobgoblin of Green Bay or somewhere else. Rodgers is looking at a paycheck of over $59 million. Dollars. That is like being a pirate and overtaking a boat filled with gold bars. Relax. Yeah. I mean, what are you doing? I, uh, my God. Uh, so no matter how you slice it, that is a whole lot of dead presidents. And while everyone is gaga for the Jets, do not discount the Titans here. Because Rogers' off-season home, he did move. He's got a big uh, home that he's been working on in, uh, in Nashville. So that is Casa Rogers. They don't have a good quarterback, the Titans. They're also near the end of their, their window. They're deep in the weeds there in Nashville. They have a new general manager looking to make a splash. And so I wouldn't discount the Titans either. But Tennessee, they've got a very small opportunity here in the next year or two to figure it out, and Rodgers is at the end of the rope. So that's a team to watch. Woohoo! Team to watch. Buckle up for many more plot twists as the Aaron Rodgers turns. Inquiring minds would like to know. Dot 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 dot.